New tonight, the White House says it will transport its first batch of baby formula from overseas this weekend, which comes amid growing outrage because the shortage is stretching into its third month. And it's only as the outrage has reached a frenzy that the shipment's happening. Parents are desperate with scenes like this playing out in stores. Look at this. Look at all this. Well, I need Look at the baby. shelves. You don't think I need it for my baby, too? Well, this is the whole reason why there's a formula shortage. You take all the formula off the shelf and buy it all at once? You come after me, I don't know, you get this one. That doesn't matter. I'm saying this is the whole reason why there's a formula shortage. You come and you buy all the formula at once. And there's kids who need formula today who won't be able to get it because you just bought it to stock up. Up front now, Autumn Geyer. She's the mother who recorded that video who's been struggling to find formula for her three-month-old baby, uh, Colton, who we're showing there, Autumn. Um, and, and I know you were making a point with the video, and obviously you didn't film the other woman's face, which, you know, I think is, is important, right? You were just trying to show the incident and not, and not you know, uh, castigate the person individually. But tell me what led up yes. to this video and what you saw when you got to the baby formula aisle. <laughs> Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwath listening, listening and learning, Shalom. It's your brother Shaman from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp. Here we're another lesson, and uh, we'll get right into it. We just watched a little video clip, you know, but this is this the vibration that is coming to America, America the Great, Babylon the Great. Frustration is growing over the unprecedented baby formula shortage, yet another crisis in a nation that has entered a stage of steep decline since President Joe Biden took up residence in the White House. And the desperation of mothers seeking nourishment for their infants has led to confrontations in stores as the scarce commodity is sought out, right? And these are the times you are in, man. This is the, this is the, we're going into the Isaiah 19 verse 2 spirit, right? That's the, this is the vibration that America the Great, Babylon the Great is going into. Isaiah 19 verse 2, and it reads, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, right? Americans, Babylon the Great, America the Great, right? Spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt. Right? The vibration of ancient Egypt. The vibration of Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? Ancient Egypt full of idols. Sodom and Gomorrah full of the alphabet boy lifestyle. Right? America the Great. American against American. Right? And they shall fight everyone against his brother. This is the vibration that's coming. And everyone against his neighbor. City against city. And kingdom against kingdom. Right? And these shortages... Right, women, women, mothers, they're about to wild out. Right? Right, because this lady was, was, was cheesed off, posted it, of a woman hoarding baby formula. You saw the clip. Right? This is where it's headed. And these women out here are going to be brought low. Let's get that. Beginning with... Beginning with this is speaking about Israelite women, the women of our nation. Israel being a people before a place. It's titled Judah's Women Denounced. Right? But women out here are going to be brought low. Isaiah 3 verse 16. Moreover, Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, right, you Israelite women, all the tribes, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. And you go into this word wanton. If I'm not mistaken. I believe it's undisciplined. Right? If I'm not mistaken. Let's, fa let's fact check through the scriptures. Strong's H8265. Saker. Saker. A primitive root to ogle, blink, coquettishly, wanton. Right? I with envy or hatred. Looking about. Ogling I as a woman. Right? That's, 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 that's our woman out here, man. Right? 
right? Everything is about the, 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 the me, 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 social media, right? Right? Isaiah 3, verse 16, once again, Moreover, Yahweh saith, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty, right, proud, and walk with stress for it necks, and want on eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet, therefore Yahweh will smite with a scab the crown of the eyes of the daughter of, of, of the head of the daughters of Zion, and Yahweh will discover their secret parts, right? And Judah, Benjamin, and Levi is known, known for not being able to grow their hair, man. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi is known for wearing weave. This is a curse, right? 18. In that day, Yahweh will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their calls and their round tires like the moon, right? The most I gonna bring them low. Take away their 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 haughtiness, their haughty spirit, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, right? Take away their 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 trinkets, right? Their jewelry, their their their, their, their those eyelashes, the umbrellas they call them. The makeup, right? The bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel, right? The changeable suits of apparel, clothing, a suit for each day of the week, a suit for each day of the month, and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins, the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils, right? This is what's coming, man. The woman of our nation, this is going into the Israelite woman. A woman as a whole going to get it. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Why? Because you're not going to be able to get your, 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 your feminine products. This place is going to get shut down. Right now, it's a baby, baby food formula shortage. What's next? And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of well-set hair, baldness. And instead of a stomacher, a girdling of sackcloth. And burning instead of beauty, right? Women out here are going to be looking like she-men. Sasquatches. Eyebrows ain't going to be done. Legs ain't going to be shaved. The essential oils and the creams. And the fragrances. That's all, that's all going to be done away with. That men shall fall by the sword. And thy mighty in the in, in the war, right? No men gonna be out here. Two thirds of our men are gonna go, go, go get slaughtered, gonna get mowed down. Two thirds of our women gonna go, 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 go are, are gonna go through it, man. And her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground, right? She's gonna be brought low, right? And this is just the beginning, right? Right? All hell about to break loose out here, right? Right? Baby shortage is just is just the tip of the iceberg. It's just the start. Second Ezra six verse twenty two, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Right, that's full storehouses being the the distribution centers, supermarkets, local mom and pop stores. Nothing on the shelves. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall suddenly they shall be suddenly afraid. Here's the point. And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. Friends fight one against once one against another like enemies. Right? We just watched a little video clip. It didn't get conference super confrontational. But let the stakes get higher and higher. And it won't be a viral, it won't be a video being posted. It'll be violence. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The vibration of fear. The springs of the fountain shall stand still. And in three hours they shall not run. Right? And that's going into water problems. Right? America the Great, Babylon the Great is being attacked on all fronts. Luke 21 verse 10. Then said he unto them, Yahweh Shai. Right? And this is titled, Things to Come. Nation. And this red letter, our Lord said this. Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall be there. Salakia shall there be from heaven. And these are the times we're in, man. Rumors of famines, famines manifesting, 
plagues and pestilences, fearful sights, great signs from heaven, right? These blood moons, these, these solar eclipses, right? All hell is about to break loose. And unless you repent out here, you're through. Second Ezra 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right? The angel telling Ezra, the prophet Ezra, Ezra, to measure the time diligently. And how is that done? Us in this truth, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we're of that number. The prophets, measuring the times diligently, watching for the signs diligently, filtering everything through the scriptures, and then prophesying, warning. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, right? Did we just not read? Did we not did just not read the signs? The prophecies. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right? The Lord's visiting this place, man. These are the times we're in right now. And we know how the Lord visits this place. With violence, with sword, with famines, with pestilence, teeth of wild beasts. Therefore, verse 3, therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, right, where we are in that time. This is right now. Right? Habakkuk 2 says, And it shall speak. We are in that time. Habakkuk 2 verse 3. And it reads. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. What is the vision? The prophecies. What is the appointed time? The last days. We are in the appointed time. We are, we are in the appointed time. But at the end it shall speak. Right? The appointed time is the end. Right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time. The appointed time being the end. But at the end it shall speak. Right? The, the, the prophecies are set for, the, for an appointed time. They are set for the end times to speak. Right? And not lie. Though it tarry, though it's taken a long time, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry, right? And we are in that time, the end. Second Ezra 9, verse 4. Then shalt, thou, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, right? The Most High, the Most High spake of these things, the prophecies. From the days of old. From the beginning. And we are in that time. Shalom.